Hello Taurus, Elsie here with some daily energy for you, my bull gang. Thank you for clicking here again. Welcome if you're a new subscriber, because I've had so many new subscribers over the last short little while. Thank you so much for deciding to click here. I appreciate you and your energy. Makes what I'm doing way more fun when there's more energy. So I am your Taurus sister. It is in my sun sign. And I'm here to read for you every day that I sit down at the altar. So sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter, give me the energy today for Taurus, please. Taurus. All right. Got the hanged man on deck here. We've got the nine of cups, Taurus. That's what we came out with. Nine of cups, the king of cups, the chariot and the ace of wands. Interesting. This King of Cups is moving fast. It could be masculine energy. doesn't have to be because we all have masculine and feminine energies, right? Um, but we do have a King of Cups here, and that's the King who thinks heart overhead is going to make the best decision for all, but it's going to be a tumultuous time getting to that decision. This is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. We have the Chariot, which is also Cancer, and that's fast-moving energy. I feel like it's almost like a flow of adrenaline with water and the chariot. That's what it feels like. Somebody is in high adrenaline and they want to go. Like they're, they're feeling the need to go because they know that somewhere, they're not sure where, but somewhere there is a Nine of Cups. Now, it could be the King of Cups bringing the Nine of Cups with, just saying. But um, I do see the Ace of Wands here too. And the Ace of Wands is about passion right? It's about the beginning of passion. Coming quickly. Someone who has a very opposing, opposing view from you. I mean, you two get along really well, but I feel like the, the views that, that you both hold or each of you holds about society is very different. I always... Um, I always marvel at the chariot, um, the person who's driving the chariot, because you have to be really strong to be able to control two horses that have very different different um, minds, right? That person, if they let go of the reins, they could kill themselves and everyone else who's riding in the chariot. But the chariot was usually only dispatched to bring the most valuable fighter to the field, the cleanup crew, you know, the, the few guys who just were sent in, um, the most dangerous ones, yeah, taken in on the chariot. Got the Seven of Pentacles here, Taurus. Strength card. Ooh, someone's coming in hot. Someone who has been thinking about it, being strategic. This feels like King Energy to me, for sure. And the Four of Cups. Interesting. Taurus, I feel as though you've been waiting a long time for this King to come forward with the, Knight of, with the Nine Cups. Um, I feel that you know that there is a king out there. And I say a king, it, it, it feels like masculine leaning energy. But understand, there's both feminine and masculine energy in, in the cards because tarot doesn't really have a gender, right? Just has the energy. And what I'm feeling is this is masculine leaning energy. So is the chariot. That's what I feel it to be. And um, <clears throat> the strength it's usually about someone who doesn't look like they can tame the lion, can tame the lion. So I feel as though that the person that is coming toward you is someone who has a really deep, 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 deep depth of love for you. This person also, also sees you as incredibly strong and they've been trying to muster the strength, I feel, in the, the uh, chariot here. They've been trying to muster the strength to come forward. And I think they're trying to muster the strength because we got the Four of Cups here. And, you know, someone feels like they may have missed the boat here. Maybe you offered them something and they turned it away. So now this person is trying to hulk up to get, to, to get enough courage, emotional courage, to come forward to talk to you. We've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse. This person was terrified to come forward. Look at that. Wow. 
wow, wow, wow. Holy man. <laughs> the first. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, so we've got the Fool and the Death card. Ooh. <laughs> the Nine of Wands. Somebody's coming out from behind the fear wall. Yeah, uh, this person is has finally put down the burdens that they've been carrying about this whole situation. I feel like this became burdensome, not only for you, but for them as well. Because um, I feel like there has been no communication between you and another person. And I feel like it's it's like the calm before the storm. It feels like things had to end and that makes it quiet. And then it's time to begin again. I feel as though we've got the four, we've got the four of cups here and the two of cups here, the two's in reverse. Four of cups and two of cups is six cups. I feel like somebody thinks that you are um, their, um, not only their nine of cups, their wish fulfillment, but their, their soulmate, the person that they feel the most at home with. So um, this person may be someone you've traveled life, lifetimes together with. Yeah, and that's why they feel like home or you feel like home to them. And... Um, I feel like the Two of Cups is in the reverse because I feel like this king feels as though you're not going to accept the cups. He doesn't know if you're still in love with him or not. Yeah, and I think that's why the Two of Cups is in reverse. In in the, um, yeah, because he, he, you know, said no thanks, Tom Hanks, to the other, to the offer, right? And uh, the four, that's what the Four of Cups is about. It's about, you know, being focused on the three and not really looking to the one. And you're like, no, nah, I don't need that. But I feel like... Um, there's, well, there's Scorpio energy here. There's Aries energy here for sure. Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Um, the Ace of Wands is Aries. Uh, the Strength card is Leo. And um, the Death card, I feel what's coming to an end is the silence that has been between the two. Yeah. Because we have the Four of Cups here and uh, the Death card, I feel like that is what's coming to an end. I feel like somebody's like, oh, I made the wrong decision. I got to go back. Yeah. We have someone who is probably watching you online. The Princess of Swords is the page. Ten of Swords needs to end a cycle so one can begin again. Somebody here is in deep regret. Yeah. Seven of Wands, very defensive. Eight of Wands wants to communicate. Ace of Swords. There's the clarity. All right, Taurus. Let's keep going here. Got the Two of Pentacles. Someone's trying to be balanced, trying to keep their balance in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Taurus, I think somebody thought you were trying to manipulate them in the past. We've got the moon and we've got the magician. I feel like somebody, you feel like somebody tried to either manipulate you or the other person, the king, might feel like you tried to manipulate them. Look at that. We've got the queen of cups. We've got the actual match here, king and the queen. So this person does see you as the soulmate. This person sees you as the mirrored energy, the one who thinks the way they do, feels the way they do. Although I think there are some things that you're really hardcore separate about, um, or the, the chariot wouldn't show here. I feel like the chariot is saying that this information is going to come together very quickly. Um, but I mean, it's, 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 you know, in timelines, right? Yeah, yeah. It's timelines, and it's different for all of us. We have the moon card here. It's Pisces and Cancer. I feel like that is what is lurking for this King of Cups in, in the moon energy is, does he, does she love me, does he love me, or not? And will they take my cup now that I had refused theirs before? I think that you may see it as a little bit of manipulation. I feel like you need to hear this person out, and I wouldn't say that if I didn't see the death card. They have ended something. They're not coming in just to see you just because. They're coming in because they're, they're, they see you as their person. That's why they're coming in. We have uh, the Five of Wands, which is indecision. We have the Three of Pentacles. This person wants to ask you to be on their team. That's where they see you. They see you as the Empress. They see you as all of it. And the thing is, is that this person knows that they cannot man manipulate the Empress because the Empress is very connected. Connected to self. She knows what's up. She has a knowing. Um, I feel like this uh, person, who you might see as a little bit manipulative because they, they refused your cup before. Yep. 
This person's going to be wary of you as well. I feel like they've already been hurt by someone else. But they want to start brand new with you, the Empress and the Fool. Maybe it's time to end the manipulation tactics. Maybe there was... Uh, yeah. It's so hard to say in a general reading. There's so many scenarios, right? I feel like... Um, there's indecision because someone doesn't know how to move forward towards you. They just don't know. They're kind of out of balance. Um, feeling like they can't they can't keep their balance just barely. We've got the Prince of Swords who is the Knight. Someone charging in to talk to you. Six of Swords. They're leaving their location because the universe said it's time. There's the King of Pentacles. For those of you who are waiting for a King of Pentacles. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for you as well. All right, I'm going to go. Thanks so much, Taurus, for coming here, for watching this. I will be back tomorrow, and I love you guys. Thank you so much for all that you do for me. I'm looking forward to hearing the comments on this one. All right, y'all. Bye-bye.